dynamicartstore.com to get the cars. Right. Icons, legends aiming at the stars. Personally, at checkout to save your points. And now your bank account won't be staying empty. empty. Dynamicartstore.com. Right. Use code Hursty. Go on. Hey there guys, welcome back to Hursty Games and welcome back to SA2 Glory. Getting very near the end of this series now, but it's also getting to a tricky part of this series because we are running out of coins, we're running out of everything right now. But let's jump into it and see what's going on today. I'll show you guys the upgrades we did as well. Those of you who were there for the live stream where I did actually discuss with you guys and work out who we were going to buy, thank you so much for your help. Thank you for chilling with us while we did some trading as well. And I really do appreciate you guys allowing me to do that because it just helped so much for going forward in this series and actually allowed me to get the first players and stuff that I needed so you can see 22 games played 48 goals seven assists things you do in fact love to see and uh, you can see the upgrades we made so we brought in the Lima card at left back to get that link to Opara he was a plus four we then upgraded Chowdhury to the non-rare gold Calvin Phillips as a plus one which takes us to a total of plus five and then we brought in Callum Wilson's inform for Antonio so another plus one which was our growing total of six so this is where we now start to struggle because realistically we're going to struggle with getting ourselves the upgrades here because everyone apart from Phillips is now going to become a special card if we get goals. So realistically, anything after one upgrade for today is going to cost us a lot of money. We have roughly 25k right now in the positions that we have to keep the chemistry that we need. We're really going to struggle with these upgrades. So I'm going to maybe have to have a bit of thought into who to upgrade where, but realistically... We just got to do what we got to do, which is go and try and score goals with Eze, try and win games. So let's make it happen. Let's get into game number one. Okay, so game number one, we come up against a Premier League and then Eredivisie side on the left there with a lone Aubameyang. This is a really weird team. I don't know if I should be scared or feel good about this. Let's find out. Lima here with a chance to try and play it through to He Chan. He does a really, really good job of that. It's a really nice pass through as well. He Chan's going to turn up, find Eze. Eze pulls it onto his left, takes a strike. Really good save there from Pickford. So uh, we do get a corner from him. We're going to whip that corner in. I maybe played it a little bit close to, I think it was Tomori at the front post. So we don't get anything from it. But our first chance, it's not a bad one from Eze, I must say. Lema with the ball here. Antonio's trying to make a bit of a run forward. It's not Antonio, where is it? It's Wilson. Wilson was trying to make the run forward, but he couldn't really find a decent play there. We're going to have to play it all the way across to Phillips. He's going to play it to He-Chan. Back to Eze now. Eze, he's doing. He's defending with his CDMs. He knows what he's doing here. He's being smart with that. We get it off to Eze again. Eze's going to try and keep this ball out wide. Going to cut inside. Take Tomori out the situation twice. Eze finds the back of the net. That is an upgrade. Lovely, lovely stuff. Obviously, the, the issue here, like I said, anything past one upgrade, and we're going to struggle. So... We're going to carry on trying, obviously. I'm not going to sit back and not score any upgrades. But we are going to try our best to try and get to as many goals and stuff as we can. And then we're probably going to have to trade. Uh, obviously, this is going up on Sunday. Monday stream after rewards and stuff. We are probably going to have to do a little bit of trading. He Chan on the ball here. We see Eze with a good run here. Tomorrow's going to try and close him down. But Eze's going to turn inside. We're going to turn outside of him again. Get that ball to go across the goal. Oh, it's a good save from Pickford. I maybe should have tried to bring it inside just a little bit more. But we do get the ball back here with Wilson. Going to fake shot. Play it into He Chan. Up to Eze. Eze's going to fake the drag back. Going to try and turn him here. Lovely stuff. Turns up again. Eze. Oh, he moved his keeper, mate. Eze is keeping that ball. That ball retention from Abire today is for blooming nominal. And that is not a word. But that's a good cross in. It's an easy punch away, though. Half time, we go and one nil up. I have to say, I think we play pretty well. This guy keeps the ball quite a lot in my third. When he's in possession, he does a lot of keeping it. Like, even in my box, he knocks it around quite well. But he's not getting many chances off. He's not getting many shots away. And by that, I mean, he hasn't had any. But I do think this guy is a threat. But he's playing a lot of possession, which is kind of playing into my hands just a little bit. So we're going to carry on, obviously. Second half, more of the same. Uh, a win would be great because we've got some really good packs stacked up right now. So obviously, that'd be fantastic for us. So a win would be phenomenal. Um, but the main thing is... Another goal, obviously, would, would help us secure that. He's got the ball into the box here. Bamyang's going to play it to the edge. He's played it inside now, but what a tackle that is from Opara. That is an AI tackle, by the way. That was not me. I was using someone completely different. But, mate, Opara, honestly, I stand by it. One of the best centre-backs in the game, without a shadow of a doubt. Oh, they've got a chance through the middle here. Can we close him down? Opara, yet again. What an absolute beast Opara is. Trust me, boys. What a unit. Ball here is with Wilson. Wilson is going to try and knock it past the defender. Does so pretty darn well, actually, as well. He's got Fredericks absolutely beaten here. Going to have to cut backwards. Going to try and find space in the box. Doesn't matter who it goes to. But this would have obviously been nice if Eze could have got it. But it's a good tackle. 
Ball back up here. Eze going to try and play it to Forsberg. Back to Eze. Eze is going to take the shot. He's moved his keeper again. This guy does have the keeper movement down. I have to say he's tricked me a good three or four times. And he's moved his keeper pretty darn efficiently there as well. So we are going to play this short here to He Chan. He Chan's going to come in. Going to just work it to the byline here. Going to try and keep it on the pitch. Plays a good pass back. It's a good block though, but it's not quite dead and buried yet. Opara now with the ball in the edge of the box. I'd love him to get a goal at some point in this series, but I don't know if it's going to happen because he's, man, he's deserved it, honestly. He's been so, so good for us. Eze drops it dead. Oh, it's a good block from Stones. He's got the ball here with Neres out wide. I've got Jesus Navas to try and keep him quiet. He's gone back. Phillips has missed that one. Diego Carlos Navas has lost his man, and that is a goal for Neres. That makes it 1-1 in the 77th minute. Has he run into the camera? My guy, chill out. When was I toxic? All right, all right. Let's go for it, boys. Let's go for it. Forsberg plays it up to He Chan. He Chan, can he find space here? He Chan's going to just have to go it alone. Going to fake shot that one. Keeps the space. Good block there from Wilson. Wilson, oh, Wilson was in space. I was going to try and get it back to him. He Chan's going to win it back, though, in a pretty good spot. Going to have to play it backwards. We go to Lamer. Lamer, what you got for us? He's got a pass off to Wilson. Back to Lamer. Back to Wilson. Just keep this ball. Recycle it. Eze now. How have I missed that? How have I missed that shot? Last chance here of the game. We're going to play it to Phillips in the middle of the park. Phillips is going to try and bring this ball forward. He's not the quickest, but he has got good distribution. He's played that ball off there. Going to try and find that pass to the back post. It's a good whip in the box. It's chested over the bar and it goes out for a corner. We are going to dummy play in this one short. I think he's going to commit a man to us. He didn't commit a man to us and I've wasted the corner. And that is most likely going to be the end of the game. I cannot believe I've not won that game. I really feel like I should have done. Especially the fact that he then went to the camera afterwards. That did annoy me a little bit. But it is what it is. You get those people that are toxic in this community. But it finishes 1-1. I do feel slightly hard done by in that one because I do feel like we should have done better. Look, he had one shot all game and he went to the camera. Oh. Game number two, and we come up against a fantastic squad. We know how good that Watkins is. He's got blooming baby Owen in there as well. He's got some fantastic players. This game is going to be very hard. Lamer plays it up to He Chan. He Chan now. Going to see that run from Wilson. Really good stuff from Wilson here. Wilson going to bring it back forward. It's going to take the strike himself. Wilson gets himself a goal. Nothing to do with Eze, but a very nice goal indeed from Callum Wilson. And that does put us in the lead. Again, a win here would be fantastic because, like I said, I've got some really cool packs to open up, like some decent packs from last week's Rivals Rewards and stuff. So it'd be nice to try and get some of those open if I can. It'd be nice to get a goal with Eze as well. Obviously, that'll be uh, good stuff for us too. But that's a good start. 1 0. Eze on the halfway line. Plays a nice little simple through ball to Lamer, who gets it out wide to Wilson. Going to try and cut inside to Lamer here. Lamer's going to see that run from Forsberg over on the far side. I have definitely hit shoot there. That is definitely a shot. And uh, yeah, it was going out for a throw. He's through here with Michael Owen. I've definitely started to bring Neto out. I had to commit to it once I started bringing Neto out. If I just stopped, he'd have chipped me anyway. But he makes it 1-1. <laughs> that celebration gets me every time, man. 1-1, one, one, good goal. Wilson with a nice little heel to heel there. Can he take on the defender as well? Not quite, but he's going to want to throw. I maybe shouldn't have done that R1 there. I maybe should have tried to find a pass. But we are going to take the throw in here. Play it to Wilson. Play it out wide. Get it back to him. Wilson now finds He Chan. He Chan going to set Eze away. Eze with the finesse. Eze hits it wide. Oh, Abire. Lema brings this ball forward. Plays a lovely ball to He Chan. He Chan's going to see the space. Out wide here for Forsberg. Back into He Chan. He Chan's going to take the strike. He Chan gets a goal. With 2 1 up. Eze has done nothing in this game, I have to say. He has not been on form for this match at all. But we do go 2 1 up. Lovely stuff. Forsberg and uh, He Chan partnering up. 2 1. Back in the lead, boys. Oh, he's in the box again with Owen. I have to say, I feel a little bit hard done by. I feel like Lima actually did tackle him, but he somehow kept the ball. A little bit miffed, but it is what it is. It's 2-2. Eze going to try and play it to He Chan. Does so really well as well. Kunde trying to keep up with He Chan. And he is not going to do that. And He Chan sweats it across. Eze, he's just not on it today. What is going on? Open goal. And he misses the ball. My word. This is, this is a stinker. Wilson with the ball out wide. He's got a bit of space. He's done with bringing his keeper out. Obviously, I know he's not going to bring his keeper all the way out. But I do lose the ball. But Eze wins it back. Eze going to pull it onto his left. Going to turn. Try and get possession onto his right. Doesn't have the space. Lovely stuff from Eze. How... How is... Wait. Please, someone's... Maybe it's not just... Maybe it's me. Maybe it's not Eze. Maybe it's me. How have I not scored? Answers on a postcard as to how I have not scored there. I actually don't understand 
what just happened. I am beyond baffled. Send help. Please, someone help me. Jesus Navas, who's playing as a right cam now for some reason. Going to play it to He Chan. He Chan finds Eze. Eze, please, for the love of all that's holy. Oh, mate. Half time. I don't know. I don't know how we're not winning. And I especially don't know how Eze hasn't scored a goal today. Like, he got one in the first game, uh, first game, but he just cannot find the back of the net right now. I have to say, Owen is keeping this guy in it, as is Lloris. Lloris has been ridiculous. You guys know in my main team I use Lloris, and he's great for me. And he's doing fantastic for this guy too. Holy hell, Eze, please, second half. Just get a goal, mate. Just get a goal. Oh, mate, this guy does not deserve to be in the lead. I'm actually fuming. I'm actually so, so annoyed. He Chan going to burst his way through. He Chan plays it off to Eze. Eze, please, for all that's holy. How? How are we not scoring? I score that 10 days out of 10. I'm telling you, seven days a week that goes in. So how has that not gone in? I don't understand, but that goes in. Okay, at least we got a goal back. I think that was Jesus Navas. Oh, it's He Chan. Oh, mad. Okay. How can I don't know how I got them confused, but I did. It's 3-3. But somehow, Eze is yet to score in this game, and I don't understand it. He Chan plays it to Eze. Eze is going to take his time, gets it back to He Chan. Lovely stuff. He Chan playing it through to Eze. Please, mate. Please, Abire. On your left foot. No, it's your right foot. Oh, thank the Lord. Thank you, whoever has helped me score that. Abire Eze, you beautiful, beautiful man. Two upgrades. Let's go. Forsberg plays it to Eze. Forsberg now in acres of space. Come on, Forsberg, mate. Bring that pace. Come on, you can beat these defenders here. Forsberg going to take the strike. Forsberg finds the back of the net. 5-3. Again, nothing to do with Eze apart from that initial pass. But I think that was way too many touches in between to count as an assist. But I will try and remember to check at the end of the game. But 5-3. Been a really weird one because Eze has literally contributed to one of these goals. That never seems to happen. But you know what? It could maybe be 6-3. And he might contribute to two. Oh, but I've tried too hard there. Tried far too hard. He chanted to Eze. Eze going to play that little dink ball over the top there to Forsberg. Forsberg through again. Forsberg going to sweat it back to Eze. Eze gets another goal. That is three upgrades for the episode. Two goals for Eze in this game. He started off quietly, but mate, he's managed to like salvage his performance in this game. And he has shown up in the second half. Bagged himself two goals. And mate, in the end, a good performance from Eze. And a good performance from the squad. Because honestly, well done to the boys. We've managed to come through a very tricky game here. There it is, full-time whistle. We do manage to win that game. I'm very happy, A, to get the win, B, to get some goals with Eze. And of course, I have to say a big, big, humongous, humongous dub as well. So let's get some packs opened and I'm going to show you my thoughts for what we're going to do going forward. Okay, so you can see we got ourselves a couple of decent little packs here. A few 75 plus rated, which I will keep hold of for now. We'll work out when we're going to open those. We've got ourselves three mega packs, two small prime gold player packs, and a premium gold pack. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up two of these mega packs. That's what I'm going to go with here. So two mega packs being opened up for the celebration of that win. And then after these packs, I will show you guys what I'm planning on doing with the team going forward. So we start off here with a non-walkout, but we do get ourselves a board. I don't think it's an info. I think it's just a regular board and it's going to be Illicic. Okay, it's an 84. I'll take it. I'm fairly sure these are untradeable because again, these are all from our div rivals and we take untradeable from those. So I will take those every day of the week, but it's an 84. Could help us going forward um, with something. We also get Marcelo, not a bad little player. So there's two decent little players there for potentially uh, some form of SBC if one was to come out soon. We also get a shadow card, which is fantastic. So I will definitely take those and then we will open up our next mega pack again at least the board will be fantastic if we get any form of player that can maybe help us out with the series that'd be great so an inform or oh, i was going to say or, or someone that can maybe come in in the midfield but we'll take this for now we get ourselves correa a bit of a stinker from that one again any form of like helpful cards or anything like that towards sbcs would be great but we don't get too much we get another shadow okay you know what i'll take two shadows from those that's actually not too bad at all uh, but now it's time to get into what we're going to do with the team let's explain it 
Okay, so the way I'm going to uh, explain this one, the way we're going to do the voting is going to be slightly different to normal. It's still going to be a straw poll, but it's going to be slightly different. So I think we're going to just have to concede that two of the upgrades from the today's three upgrades are going to have to go on to Calvin Phillips, just because otherwise I'm just never going to be able to afford these cards. I hate to break it to you all. You seem to not necessarily want him to be picked, but we're going to have to most likely go with Inform Ward Prowse, unless there's another English centre mid uh, that's got like a special card in the uh in the prem but i can't think of anyone that comes to mind so i think it's kind of have to be him because obviously Grealish is out wide so we've got we've got ward prowls there all of these other cards are wide cards mount obviously was an sbc and i didn't get to complete him on this account so it's gonna have to be i'm afraid to say it but it is gonna have to be i think um What's his face? It's going to have to be Ward Prowse. Unless we got one to watch Alan, but I don't really know how I feel about that. Because obviously he would get the Brazilian link, but he'd still be off chem, sadly. But regardless, I think it's going to have to be Ward Prowse. And what I'm going to do for the vote is ask you guys who you'd like to see a special card in come for. So, or should come in for, I should say. So either get a CDM from the Bundesliga, preferably Leipzig if they've got one. A goalkeeper from the Santander, a centre-back or a right-back from the Liga Santander. I'm going to leave it up to you guys. So the poll will be just goalkeeper, centre-back, right-back back CDM whichever one you guys pick as the majority vote will come in alongside Ward Prowse coming in as well those will be how we do our upgrades so plus two on, on uh, Phillips who was only here for one game but I have to say did enjoy him and then one of our regular rare gold cards so that's entirely up to you guys but we are going to end today's episode there hopefully you guys did enjoy it thank you so much for watching I think I forgot to mention as well we did actually get the uh, the assist for that Forsberg gold so we do actually have another um, thing to add so whichever player comes in unless it's a keeper we'll probably get a shadow card popped onto them because we've got a free uh, little uh, chem star to put in but thank you for watching hopefully you guys have enjoyed it if you have then please do leave a like on the video i really do appreciate it make sure you hit that sub button as well if you're new to the channel and turn on notifications to be told anytime that we upload a video or indeed go live with a live stream but for now guys i want to say a massive thank you for watching i've been tom you guys have been awesome and i'll see you soon look after yourselves and of course Wash your hands what? in a bit. Nah, nah, his name is Hursty. Slap bald head, yeah, it'll probably hurt me. Bang top bins, it'll probably hurt you. Ginger, streamer, platform, YouTube. Drop a name in the chat, or say hello. Entertain, yeah, you already know. Capital H, yeah, I'm a read it slow. Hursty games, yeah, you already know.